Hi, everyone. Hope you're all well. We're having some slight, I say we, it's not me, it's Mark. It's actually having some technical issues. My 15-year-old computer. It's finally given up the ghost. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Sue. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Millie. Storm is joining us this evening. Hi, Ali. Oh, hello, Storm. Hi, Polo. Hi, Jen. Oh, she's going to help me. I'm not sure that I like that terribly much. Can you just settle down? Now, I've had a mad couple of days tidying up and I can't find anything. I'm not even entirely sure that I've got the right book out, but we'll soon find out, I guess. Won't we, Stormy? Yes, we will. Um, has anybody used this before? It's um, it's a cat hat. It's, um, <laughs> hi, Peggy. Hi, June. Um, it's um, sticky foam tape. Hi, Anne. And I assume it's for making shaker pockets. Now, I don't like this stuff. It makes me cringe. I can't. Ugh, it's, it's even sticky just feeling it. But I would imagine it might be quite interesting. So I've, I've got some. I'll put it in the shop. I don't know if anybody wants to, if it's something that you use or not, I might stick to my chipboard. But anyway, I thought it was kind of cool because it's big. Hi, Sue. Hi, Karen. Yeah. Right. Now, a little bit of housekeeping tomorrow. Normally, we're in crafting together with all brands. We're not going to be because something much more exciting is happening. Um, and that's Belinda. Uh, who designed Lady Vagabond that we've used in the past. She um, is going to be um, doing a class over and crafting together. Uh, so pop along and, um, and see what she's doing, because that's going to be amazing. I'll post a little bit about it tomorrow, but that's going to be really, really, really good. Um, hi, Candice. Hi, Kari. Oh, you made it good. Hi, Trish. So yeah, anyway, yeah, so I'll put it, I haven't tried it because because it's not my thing, you know, I don't like sticky stuff. But anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Now, I don't suppose Phoebe's here by any chance, is she? Because you need to save the date, everybody. You need to save the date. You need to save next week on, is it the 16th? Next the 15th the 15th next wednesday the 15th of june we're gonna have class as usual in here but after class at 10 p.m bst british summer time thank you dear okay so right which is 6 a.m in japan phoebe and i are going to do a joint live over in crafting together with all brands now we've pre-made our projects i could show you mine but i don't want to do it without talking to phoebe first so um i'm not going to show it to you just yet um but i will sh i will put up a list of um requirements it's not a book which might surprise you i'm not making a book um so save the date the 15th of june at 10 p.m. British summer time, which is 6 a.m. on the 16th in Japan. But save the date because that's going to be fun. So did you all have a good Jubilee weekend? We did. We had an absolutely marvellous time. We didn't have any marmalade sandwiches, though, unfortunately. No. But I, I, was, I was going to... Um, print out some photos but I didn't get around to it so I will do that this week and then put them into my book so where are we okay we've done this page with the pull out we've done this page with the waterfall so tonight I want to have a look at this page which is a flap but it's got a it's got and it's got these two these two bits here like we had on the front but it's also got these two photo mats. 
in a pocket on the flap. And then inside, what we've got here is we've got a stack pocket, okay, with lots of photo mats. So that is going to be one page. And if we get that done, we can have a look at doing this page, which actually isn't too complicated. It's um, it's three sort of pocket flaps. I'm not really quite sure how to describe them. I'm going for pocket flap. And in each pocket flap, you've got um, a, a little photo mat. So that's there's three of those. Now, as you can see on these, this is where I've put my um, charms. If you're having, um, if you if you've got a kit. Now I have put because I had a few more charm sets than I did kits in the end because obviously I couldn't get um, in a. I couldn't. I hang on a minute. Sorry, it's just confusing me um because i couldn't get um enough piece of pa uh, paper um I, I, and i did manage to get the charms i've actually got a few charms left over so i really don't like doing this but i have got some charm sets which are in the shop and i'll just have a look because poor mark is absolutely yeah, stuffed here I'm like a <laughs> oh that's not good at all so two seconds because because i'm oh and I'll put the link up for you for that. Two ticks. You did figure out a way that I can uh, I can share my screen with you, but I don't think I'm quite that accomplished yet. Hold on, Control C. Go back on to here. I'll be with you in a minute. Hi, Tallulah. How was London? There you go. So I have got some embellishment kits um, if you if you if you want one. Now I've already kind of done um a sort of a mini class. I've already recorded it and I'll just edit it and I'll pop it in the group where I show you how to put the charms together, okay? Because you can you can do those anytime. So I'll um I'll just edit that this evening and then I'll get that into the group for you as well. It's just a little bit of an added extra so okay so tonight like i said i want to start off with that kind of flappy page with the stack pocket so um if you have a look in the top left hand corner of the screen you might get a little sneak peek of my project for next wednesday after class there you go you can't write the things up can you no ah this is going to be fun Mark can't put the um, sizes. the sizes up, but don't worry, we'll manage, we'll manage. Right, okay, so if you grab your uh, scoreboard, oh no, you can't because I've just put the thing in front of it. Uh, scoreboard, cut, oh, shall I start again? Trimmer. Thank you, dear. I'll just get my trimmer and I'm going to, oh yes, I have got the right bit, that's good. Never tidy it. up, it really doesn't help at all. So now I am going to cut my flap. This is the flap that that kind of other flappy pockety thing goes on to. And I want you to cut one at seven by eight and a half inches. So one at seven by eight and a half inches. Now that is the flap. Okay. That's good of you. I might not do very successful. It's all right. And then I want you to cut one at six by nine and a half inches. So one at six by nine and a half inches. Okay. So you've got this one, which is seven by eight and a half inches, and you've got this one which is six by nine and a half inches. So I think as Mark's um, not able to put sizes up and things tonight, we're not going to do too much in one go. We're going to do a very little bit at a time, okay? So if you want to put your trimmer away and get out your scoreboard, oh, it's finally rebooted. Hi, Lorraine. 
Lorraine, did you did you see what I got um from the from the Twilight Girls? I thought of you when I saw this. Look. If anybody wasn't in in um coffee and a chat with Cal on Monday, um I talked to the Twilight Girls who did the cut fast for the um subscription box and they sent me a little something to open while we were having our chat and um if you didn't see you've got to go back and watch it because it's really excellent it tells you um you know just what they've they've been up to but look they sent me that which is just brilliant and then that which just made me laugh now you can actually buy these cut files you can buy them to cut yourselves or you can um buy them and have them shipped to you ready cut um and i have put if you go into the group i have put a link um and you'll see you'll see photographs of these um, and i have put a link to to their website where you can get one but i have to say lorraine that that that, that made me think of you as soon as i opened it i thought Lorraine. Lorraine says she uh, ordered those yesterday and received them this morning. Wow, that's a bit quick. Oh, hi, Debbie. Just talking about you. Right, okay. So, this is the flap piece, which was seven by eight and a half inches. So, what we're going to do is we're going to score on the seven inch side. So, that's seven inches at the top. And I want you to score at half an inch. And then I want you to score at five eighths of an inch. We need a little gusset here, just a little gusset. Get me thing out again. Um, because obviously this is going to sit over a stacked pocket. So it gives us a little bit more room that it's not too bulky and crop gobby. Okay, so that is just, if you can see here, that has just got an eighth of an inch gusset. Then we've got this piece, which is the pocket that goes on the very front. And we're going to score on the six inch side. So that's six inches at the top. We're going to score at half an inch. We're going to turn it round. So we're now scoring on the nine and a half inch side. And I want you to score at half an inch. And I want you to score at nine inches. Okay. So i'm gonna grab my bone fold my I can, oh no jilly's not here and i'm not doing anything for anybody else so i can be myself now get my big boner and i want my scissors right okay so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna fold on this gusset on my flap see gusset flap and boner that is what we are all about and i'm just gonna fold that that gusset in there give it a bit of a rub okay so what i've got now with my flap is she says i have got a flap that's got a little bit of a, a gusset on it so when i put that down i'm going to have a little bit of, of wriggle room okay this big pocket i'm going to kinky mitre my corner so i'm going to snip up to where that score line intersects mm -hmm. change the angle of my scissors so that i'm not cutting a straight across line it's got a bit of a kink in it okay yeah. right so i'll tell you what i did find when i was tidying up which was rather exciting i found 10 pounds that was kind of cool. Okay, so now I'm going to just burnish my big pocket like that. Now, oh, the easiest way to do this is the way that it's going to sit. Okay, so this is my flap which is going to attach on the right hand side. Okay, so if I just grab one of my base pages, which I've just put somewhere safe, hang on. What one haven't I done yet? Need to find one without stuff on. Here we go. Right, so if this is my base page, all right, and I've got my opening to the left, so this, hi Sadie. This flap is going to attach on the right hand side, okay? 
like this. So when you open it up, it's going to open up like that because we're going to glue that on there. OK, now when I put my pocket on, I want my pocket to open to the right hand side. So I'm going to put it on the left hand side of this flap away from where my flap and gusset is. So if I just open that out now, I've got my gusset and my flap flappy bit on the right hand side. Well done, Cal. On the right hand side. So now if I just put some glue onto this pocket. like that i'm now going to attach this to the left hand side with the pocket pointing or opening to the right hi helen you are getting on so well with your book i am so impressed right let's just get this in the right place okay right Sandy's, okay. Sandy's asked if you could say flaps, gussets, and boners. No, she says don't say flaps, gussets, oh, and boners. My mistake. Yeah. All right then, Sandy. I won't say flaps, gussets, and boners. I, I, I wouldn't. I, I won't say it. And I won't say it loud for everybody to hear either about boners and gussets. Or right. Flaps. Or flaps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so cruel. Righty ho. Okay, so oh, are you following me? I really hope you are. So, right, so this is my page, um, and I've got my opening because I'm putting this on the front. My opening is to the left. Now I'm going to put some glue onto that flap there, like that. Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to attach that to the foot. I'll take my glasses off. I'll see what I'm doing. To the far right hand side of that page. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So what we've got now is this is my page. This is where it's going to attach to the book. Okay. On the left hand side. That flap is going to open up like that. Marie says, greetings from California. Oh, hi, Marie. Sadie says I'm a gobby mare. That's very cheeky, was, was isn't it? talking about you? Yeah. I, I didn't put the connection. Did you not? No. Oh, funny that. With my pocket that's opening to the right. I hope you're impressed that I'm getting all my lefts and rights right. I'm amazed. I'm pretty much amazed myself, to be brutally honest. Right, okay. So, there we go. Right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to cut out the next bits. And what I'm going to cut out is I'm going to cut out the tags and I'm going to cut out the, the kind of, I've called them photo mats, but the kind of flaps. These bits. Okay. So this bit, right, we've made this and we've made the pocket that these, these, these go into. So we're, we're going to cut these out in a minute. Okay. <laughs> See what Jill said. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen. What Jen oh dear. Oh, sorry, Jen. Uh, um, I like doing that to Kari as well when Kari's at work and shouting out. No, and I don't do it to Kari. That would be good. So, yeah, so we've got these two flappy bits. Now, these don't hold an exact six by four photo. It's a bit of an odd size, but there we go. Hey, Jane. Oh, do you know what? We nearly fell asleep. Well, I did fall asleep and then I had tea. I've had such a busy day. You have. I have. And I've done so well. I'm so proud of myself. I can almost, almost, almost see the floor in the craft room now. Right. OK, so let's cut those out. So trimmers. And card. So let's cut our tags. We'll cut those first. Well, we will do if I can get some card out. 
Hang on. Okay, so we're going to cut one tag, which is six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Now, remember, if you're using my cardstock or you're um, using UK sized um, A4 paper, it's already eight and a quarter inches. So you're going to cut one at six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Is that what I've said yet? Yeah, six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then I want you to cut one at six and a quarter by five. OK, so these two pieces are going to they're exactly the same width as you can see here. Oh, that's nice. I feel I feel I feel better now. It's nice to have you back, dear. I feel like we know what we're doing, that we can achieve anything now. Um, so we've, they're both the same width, but they're just different heights. And those are going to slip into that pocket there like that. And hopefully, hopefully they should not be too wide. It should just fit. Oh, so close. I'm so good at this. <laughs> no, I just measured, really. OK, so right. So those are our two, um, our two tags. Now, as I said, I did put two of my charm packs, uh, two of my charm bulby pin things on there um and I, I i have got that little video that i've made um to show you how to do that and I, I will get that up um in the next um the next few hours for you so what i want to do now is i want to make the two flaps that go on top of here um and i'm really hoping that i've measured them right but it was pre-t so you know my brain wasn't really uh, quite in gear so what have i said five and a half by eight and a half well it looks like that might be right so if you could cut two at five and a half by eight and a half so cut two at five and a half by eight and a half Now, you can either score these in the middle on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, or you can be like me and cheat something terrible and just line them up and fold them in half. Okay? So I'm just going to fold these in half like that. Anybody know where I put my boner? There it is. I still haven't found my little one. I might have to go and raid the stock room. I don't really want to do that. And like hen's teeth to hide. Okay, so I've got two, they're kind of like two little booklets, really. So let's see if they fit. Ha ha. In theory, one's gonna fit right at the top. So we'd put that one on first. And then that one should fit. Oh, gosh. Sometimes I amaze myself. Right, OK, so that fits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue onto the back of one of these. And I'm going to add it. This is onto my flap, OK? This is the flap. I'm going to add it at the very, very, very top. And it will fit exactly side to side on top of that pocket. OK, so like that. And then we're going to use the bottom bit here as a guide. And I'm going to put some glue on the back again. Like that. And we're going to stick this right at the very bottom of that flap that we've just put on, which should take it to the very bottom of the page okay so so what we've got here is we've got our flap with our two photo mats in like that and then we've got on the front of the flap we've got these two pieces now what i did with mine let me just show you what i did with mine was 
I put my union flags on the front and then I put um, just some, I mean, I'll take this off and put photographs in there. I've got plenty. I've got loads, actually. Nice. I'm like, I'm like who, who was it? Louise Hughes said about um, using photos, um, you, like official photos and stuff as well. Um, I've downloaded a whole load of them that I'm going to put in my book too. Um, because as, as hard as I tried, I didn't quite get as many photographs to fill the whole book because I did write down somewhere how many this takes. And it was, it was a lot. Yeah, it was an awful lot. Okay, so that's what we've done. But what we need to do now is this bit inside here, which is this stacked pocket, okay? So that's going to be our next job. So if you grab your trimmer, I want you to cut, let's have a look, one at eight by four inches. Now, you might find that some of these offcuts that you've already got might well fit or not. So cut one at eight by four. Is it eight by four? Well, that's what you've written. So let me just remeasure that. That doesn't sound right. It is right. Wow. So one at eight by four, and then what's the other one? Eight by three and a half. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm cutting one at eight by four and one at eight by three and a half. Okay. Well, I would have done if I hadn't been an idiot and cut it the wrong way. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing now. <laughs> it must be. We are quite high up. Yeah. Right, so I've got one at eight by three and a half, and I've got one at eight by four. Okay, so if you just pop your trimmers away, get your scoreboard. And we'll score, first of all, on the one that was eight by four. Well, hold your horses a minute, because I've dropped my embossing tool. Oh, it's not gone too far. Uh, right, so we're going to score on the eight-inch side. So that's eight inches at the top. And I want you to score at half an inch. And I want you to score at seven and a half inches, OK? Because we're just making a simple pocket. So turn that round and then score on the four inch side at half an inch. So this is exactly the same sort of pocket as we've got on the very front of this flap. And um, that's the bottom of the stack pocket. Now, the piece that was um, th uh, eight by three and a half, we're kind of going to do similar. What we're going to do is we're going to score on the eight inch side and I want you to score at half an inch and I want you to score at seven and a half inches. But this time... On the three and a half inch side, I want you to score at one inch, not half an inch, at one inch, okay? Right, there we go. What am I missing? Cameron's got pants internet. And Jill's, oh! Got a bit of a Jill's board, got though. a Pinterest board. Oh, that is ace. Jill, thank you. You sure it's not me, Karen? Oh, no, that was dialogue. We don't get that anymore, do we? Right, OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, um, the that little square off the bottom of here like that. There we go. And this one is going to be the pants cut, which is what I was explaining to Gillian. Was it last Wednesday? Yes. 
Yes, because I had my little helper last Wednesday, didn't I? And I told her about the pants cut. Well, that's what we're going to do. So this one that's got um, that's three and a half inches by eight, we're going to snip. Right, you see on this half inch, we're going to snip up to there, just like a normal sort of mitery cut. And then we're going to snip that corner off like that, okay? So it looks like a pair of pants. Okay, like that. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to work on the, 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 the big pocket. Fold that. <sighs> Boner. I don't think you'll know where my boner is. Okay, so I'm just burnishing that one first. So on my page now, if I open it up like this, I want to put this pocket right down at the very bottom here. That should fit, should fit a crop. It would fit if I'd burnished it properly got a funny little knobbly corner right that is going to fit across the bottom of my page like that so let's just put some glue on the back of that flap these flaps even on the back of my pocket like that and let's pop that there at the very bottom of the page inside the flap okay like that so i've got my page and that's that flap's going to open like that and then inside you're going to see this stack pocket now for the second bit of the um pocket I don't burnish it yet. I'm just going to fold on those two flaps. And this line, this score line here, is just a guide. It's not nothing more than that. We're not going to do any folding or burnishing on it. So what that is actually going to show us is how far to push this pocket into the pocket that's already there. So if I push that down now and see, well, after me saying the other day that I haven't had one that hasn't aligned for ages, this one is well and truly out. You can see here that it's just not, it needs some attention. So this is why I don't burnish straight away. Because I want to make sure that that pocket fits before I burnish it. So if I slip that back in there, it still doesn't fit. I think it's because I've stuck that one on wrong. Oh, th there we go. Okay, so that's going to fit in now. So now I can just burnish. I might just trim that off slightly the bottom Let's just trim that okay and I'm going to just put some glue onto those two short flaps like that slip this inside that pocket up to the score line and glue it down there we go that's it Okay, so now I've got my stacked pocket. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out my photo mats. So if you grab your trimmer, we'll just quickly cut those out. And I want one at six and three quarters by eight and a quarter. So one at six and three quarters by eight and a quarter. I want two. Now, the reason that these are odd sizes, because I've had um, five and an eighth and seven and an eighth, is so that we can put a standard five by seven photo on there with a, a eighth of an inch reveal. OK, so that's kind of the method behind that madness. Jane, oh, was it any good? The new, the new Top Gun. I would go, but quite frankly, I can't stand Tom Cruise, so um, I'm not going to go. I hope he's not watching. Otherwise, I'm going to be in loads of trouble. 
Well, if the person's up there to the uh, group tonight, you know why? Yeah, yeah, it'll be. It'll be Tom. Yeah, I didn't mean it, Tom. I think you're great. Right, so I've cut my two at five and an eighth by seven and an eighth, and then I want to cut two at four and an eighth by six and an eighth. Same principle, standard six by four photo, reveal, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all before. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. It's amazing. So every time I think of Tom Cruise now, do you know who pops into my head? It's not Tom Cruise. No, I do. You do. That Richard. No. David. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so these photo mats are now gonna slip. So the big one goes in in there like that. Hopefully, it's not stuck, which it is. There we go. That goes in. And I've got my two seven by fives and my two six by fours. Okay. So that page is now ready to be decorated. Okay. So you've got that front and back. You can decorate that up. Okay. So now, what time is it? Ten past. We should be all right if you'd like. Do you want to carry on and do do the next page? The next page is quite easy. It just doesn't sound it. So the next page, and I'm going to have to talk to you about decorating this because because I did it in a very particular way. But what I've got here are I've got three flaps. And each of these flaps has a photo mat in it, okay? Like that. All right, so it's a pocket flap. Now, before I forget, just to tell you that when you are decorating this, the way that I did it was I put my, my, my flaps on and then I just cut strips of paper, okay? So I don't know if you can see or how well you can see. There's actually in between each each flap, there is a little gap here because I put a strip of paper across underneath that one. I put a strip of paper across underneath that one. And then here you can see, just see that little black reveal there. Just pop that in. Okay. Oh. And then the same at the bottom. All right. So these are just three separate pieces of paper. So I found that would be the easiest way to decorate it because we're going to attach these to the page with a little flap. OK, but um, that means that if you decorate your page first and then put the flap on, you're still going to see the flap. And I didn't I just didn't want to do that, but I couldn't figure out how to do it without it becoming incredibly complicated. So all I did was I just cut these three these three sort of strips that went right across the page. And I kind of like the way that looks. So I hope that makes sense anyway. So that's what we're going to do. OK, now follow this closely because it's going to sound complicated, but it really isn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut three at six and five eighths. By nine and a half. So three at six and five eighths by nine and a half. Okay. So six and five eighths. by nine and a half. Okay. Right, put your trimmer away. Now, 
I couldn't remember how I did this, so I'm hoping this is the right way. Okay, so what I want you to do, and they're all scored in exactly the same way. I want you to score on the six and five eighths of an inch side. So that's put the six and five eighths inches at the top. I want you to score at half an inch. Okay, just at half an inch. Now, it doesn't matter whether you put it that way round or that way round. It doesn't matter at all. But what I want you to do is I now want you to score on the nine and a half inch side. And I want you to score at half an inch. I want you to score at four and five eighths of an inch. And I want you to score at nine inches. Now, before you do that, let me just check this is right. No, it's not. What have I done wrong? Hold on. Oh, it's me. I can't. I'm an idiot. No, I'm not an idiot. I am an idiot. Maybe it's four and three quarters. Hang on, don't score a minute. Yeah, it is. It's not for it's four and three quarters of an inch. Where's my thingy? I'll change this on the cutting guide. So it's score on the nine and a half inch side at half an inch, and then four and three quarters of an inch. Okay, and then nine inches. So let's do that again. We're gonna score on the six and five eighths of an inch side at half an inch then we're going to score on the nine and a half inch side at half an inch four and three quarters of an inch and nine inches so what you've got you've got three score lines here one divides it in half and then you've got half an inch on either end okay so you're going to score on the six and five eighths of an inch side at half an inch. Even better if it was straight. Then you're going to score on the nine and a half inch side at half an inch. Four and three quarters of an inch. And at nine inches. Okay. Right. Now. Let's see if my white pen works. It does. Right. On each of these pieces, we are going to cut that away. Okay. So. I'm going to hold this now so that I've got my half inch um, piece uh, score here. I'm going to cut out that top bit there. So if you just watch how I do it, I'm going to just chop that at an angle. And then I'm going to cut right down there like that. Okay, and then at the bottom here, I'm just going to kinky mitre. Okay. So I hope you can see that. I'll do it again. I'm going to kinky mitre this corner down here. Okay. Then I'm going to snip up to where that halfway mark is here, that halfway score. And I'm going to chop off this top bit. Just where up to that half inch score line. OK, like that. All right. You all following this OK? I'll leave that one there so you can see it clearly. And now I'm just going to do the last one. 
you just work out where that okay so i'm just going to snip up there let's just my to this corner actually and then i'm going to snip that off pardon me down there like that okay right you've all gone quiet have you followed that okay right so you can see how i've got mine arranged right now i am going to fold that in like that and i am going to fold that in like that okay uh bone folder here right let's burnish those okay then i'm going to fold that in half which means that that should then take this up to that score line at the top there okay this flap needs to fold behind like that okay so what we've got here is i'm going to put some glue onto these two flaps that will then attach that to there so what i've got is my flap pocket and then this flap is what is going to attach to the book okay so let's just give that a really good burnish make sure it's all nice and flat so i'm going to put some glue here really i am onto that flap like that okay i'm going to fold that up so what i've got now is i've got a pocket flap that is going to attach to my page so if i grab um a page that hasn't got anything on the front of it like that one and what i'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the far left hand side so that's my opening I'm going to put some glue on here onto that flap and I'm going to attach it to the top of my page like that okay so make sure I've glued it the right way up yes I have okay so what I've got there is my flap with a pocket okay so let me do the next one i'm going to do the same again so here at the top i've got a score line half an inch i've got my flap here and i've got my flap there so i'm going to fold those flaps in on themselves like that okay just burnish a bit I'm then going to fold this on that score line that we did, which will take it up to that score line up the top. So let's just burnish that. And then I'm going to fold that flap behind because that is what is going to attach to the page. OK, so let's put some glue onto that flap like that. okay glue that up there burnish it down what i've got is another flap with my open pocket my open pockets are pointing to the right okay so i'm going to put some glue onto that flap like that and i'm going to attach this one at the bottom of the page okay so off to the left but at the bottom of the page like that okay so i've got two flaps there okay that actually fit really well together i didn't realize that that was almost like it was meant to be okay so the final one 
fold my flap in. Are you following this because you've gone so quiet, guys, or is it just me? No, you haven't gone quiet. No, I know I haven't gone quiet. They've gone quiet. Yes, I have. I've got those bowlers on the gallery. Must be. Okay. So, a bit of glue on there like that, fold that up. Jenna, should we have three of these pockets? Yes, you should. Yep. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to eyeball this, but what I did with this one was I just put it in the middle. So I just worked out where the middle was so it looked like I'd got equal kind of spaces about there just mark it bit of glue and I'm going to pop that on top like that Ooh, preferably in the right place you. It wasn't in the right place. Oh. Like that. Okay. So now I've got my three flap pockets. So the last thing that we're going to do today is we're going to cut out the photo mats to go in there. So let me just tidy up a moment. Grab my trimmer. And I want you to cut three at six and three quarters. By three and seven eighths. Four inches won't quite go in. Hence the rather strange size. It doesn't quite fit. So cut three at six and three quarters by three and seven eighths, which is just an eighth of an inch under the four inches. So three and seven eighths. Okay, and those are going to slip into these pockets here like this hopefully there we go and you can decorate those all up now and um we get once you've you've kind of put this all together and you've got your you you, you know your pattern paper on and you've put your pins on it's all going to sit you, it just needs it is ever so slightly just pushing up at the moment, but it will sit flat. It's just got to kind of, you know, get used to where it's got to go. So I'm really glad we managed to get both of those pages done tonight. I actually didn't think we would, but um, we certainly did. And we've got a bit of time to spare, which is fantastic. Despite technology's best efforts. Yes. So um, I think, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you what we're going to do next week. So next week in this class... What we're going to do is we're going to do our page five, which is this special page um, here where it's kind of like a, a big, a big uh, pocket that we can put um, all sorts of memorabilia in. Uh, and we will make our covers, I think, um, and the binding. And then the week after that, we'll finish off, we'll do the cover we'll put the pages in and we'll do um these corner pockets and things so just a couple more weeks i think we're we're nearly there which is really great um but as i said after class next week at 10 o'clock 10 p.m um phoebe and i are going to be doing uh, a live over in crafting together with all brands and um this is what i'm going to make 
we've, we've got a theme on our theme is circles um and I, if anybody wants to make along with me um i'm, I'm using graphic 45 gosh there's a surprise um and um all you're going to need even if you haven't got the same paper that i've got because i'm using quite an old collection and it's just some that i've got lots of that i used in class previously so i've got some left over and i just love it anyway um but you can use you know you could use any paper that you could uh you know you just need a couple of sheets of it because i've done a bit of layering up but basically that's what i've made um i've used two embroidery hoops so those are my circles i've used sun kissed um uh, papers and I've made a couple of little hoops for my wall um so if you want to um join in um Phoebe I'm not going to tell you what she's making because it's just absolutely yes I've, I've, I've seen it it's just beautiful um so I'm sure uh you know you, you'll see um what Phoebe's going to make and uh we'll both put resources lists up so if you want to work along with us um that would be uh, that would be absolutely brilliant so that's what we're going to be doing next week now as i said tomorrow um i'm not going to be in crafting together because the wonderful wonderful belinda uh, is going to be doing a class in there so we will see you i know what i was going to do tonight i was going to show you the safari book um We'll see you back here next Wednesday. But just to warn you, on the 19th, we've got 6 by 6 Sunday. The kits, and I'll just put them up, the kits for 6 by 6 Sunday, if you want one, are in uh, are in the shop. Um, pardon me. Uh, and we've got time to get them out to you if you want one. Uh, and I'll, um, I really should have brought, brought it up to show you, actually two ticks so i'll put the there you go if anybody wants a kit they're there the ones that have ordered have, have already are on their way so you'll get them in plenty of time righty ho okay uh we'll see you next wednesday if not before um take care everybody have a great week and we'll see you soon bye Oh.